Hi folks, Tim Sundles again, coming to you from our Africa office. Uh, my beautiful wife, Kim, is filming on her iPhone. It's Sunday morning here, uh, mid-morning. I'm still wearing my pajamas. You can't tell that, because I put a shirt on. Um, Kim and I are both disheveled. I haven't combed my hair. I haven't even brushed my teeth, but you know, it's Sunday here and there's nobody around, nobody bugging us and we're taking it easy. Um, I want to discuss more of myths in the gun industry. And when Kim started, <laughs> when Kim talked to me into to starting these YouTube videos, uh, I decided if I'm going to do this, I'm going to uh, help the gun industry get truth and quit quit generalizing, quit believing myths. And <clears throat> so I want to go back to the foot pounds of muzzle energy and how such a formula just simply does not apply to the killing ability of a high speed projectile, i.e. a bullet uh, on large game. Has almost nothing to do with how effective a cartridge is on large animals. But in so doing, and I've done some research to find out how this myth of foot-pounds of kinetic energy became so universal in the gun industry. It's a very interesting story as much as I can decipher it because in the days that all this started, 100 years ago or more, there weren't computers, so we don't have databases and, and, and stuff like that. I just have had to interview old people that were in the gun industry. Um, so let me tell you a story. I, at one time, had a very dear friend named Don Brewer. He, he was one of the most influential people in my life. He's passed on now. I think he died around age 90. And Don was a myth debunker. And, it, but not in the gun industry. It, in, in society and in the world in general, when people would state something as fact, or he'd see a tradition that was being used widely in society, he'd go find out why. So Don Brewer at, at this point is like 21 years old, he gets married. And it's the first Thanksgiving, they're having the family over to celebrate you know, their new marriage in their new home and he has the whole family over and he sees his wife preparing the turkey and she cuts off the end of the turkey <laughs> and you're going to find this story is is prevalent the the concepts in this story are prevalent in all industry in all of society his wife cuts off the end of the turkey before she puts it in the oven so he asked her why why did you cut off the end of the turkey she goes I don't know. My mom, that's what my mom always did with the Thanksgiving turkey. And he's thinking, well, her mother's going to be over for dinner later today. And I'll, I'll ask her. So <clears throat> later in the day, they're enjoying Thanksgiving meal. He asks the mother. Um, LaVon says that she cuts off the end of the turkey because you always cut off the end of the turkey. And LaVon's mother goes, well, I don't know. My mother just always cut off the end of the turkey before she put it in the oven. Well, guess who's there? Grandma. Grandma's over for Thanksgiving dinner, too. Grandma's still alive. So he asked Grandma, well, why is it you always cut off the end of the turkey? Because your daughter and now your granddaughter is doing the same thing. And she goes, oh, because back then I had a small oven. It wouldn't fit in unless I cut off the end of it to get it, you know, to fit the oven. Well, folks, the firearms industry is doing the same kind of crap. The, this whole institution of foot-pounds of muzzle energy as if it's somehow meaningful to the killing power of a projectile on big game is the same stuff. What I have discovered... And of course, it's going to be hard to quantify this and qualify it completely. But in the old days, 
when the firearms industry was switching from black powder to smokeless powder, you know, smokeless powder, powder develops a lot more energy per its weight in the powder charge than black powder did. It creates more pressure, hence creates more velocity. And people in, involved in the industry, especially those involved in bringing out new smokeless cartridges, and, and the 3030 was actually the, the first smokeless cartridge uh, given to the public. There, there was a couple more that were smokeless that were military application only prior to the 3030. But in 1894, the 3030 came out as the first smokeless cartridge and it was doing 2,100 feet a second with 150 grain bullets. That was unheard of velocity in those days. You know, black powder rarely, if ever, developed more than 14 or 1500 uh, feet per second of velocity, in, you know, regardless of the cartridge. So, cartridge makers like Winchester and others like Remington got involved in trying to show how superior extra velocity was. And, and it is, especially when you're dealing at those levels of velocity. It really is superior in killing power when you can get above 1,400 feet a second, like black powder. And so they instituted the, the kinetic energy formula, which if you haven't watched the first video I did on this, please go back and watch it so this will make sense. But when you square velocity, it will always give the faster moving projectile more foot pounds of kinetic energy. And, and I disparaged that mathematic formula in my first video on this. I shouldn't have. It's, it's a widely accepted and known uh, kinetic energy formula it has to do with new, Newtonian physics. But to apply that formula to how well a bullet kills things is 100% faulty. Especially, <laughs> or, especially large game. Yeah, especially big, big animals. And when I say 100% faulty, okay, 90% faulty, maybe more. Um, <clears throat> so these people that were back in the day, over 100 years ago, bringing cartridges from black powder to smokeless powder started instituting that formula to show how much more significant velocity was. And like I said, there's some, there's some reality to, to doing that, but most of it is based in unreal so-called science when it comes to killing large animals. And to be fair, what put me on this path of research was a YouTube watcher who said he believed that's how kinetic energy got started being the end all be all in determining firearm power or cartridge power, power, however you want to define it. So long story short, it has to do with switching from smokeless to black powder uh, or <laughs> from black powder to smokeless in the firearms industry, which is why I told you the story about cutting off the end of the turkey. People start these things and it's pervasive in, in humanity. It's pervasive in the building trades. It's pervasive in a lot of what we do that we're using old, outdated, non-thinking because, well, it's what people have always done, right? And so <clears throat> I wanted to expose that. And then I want to talk about modern physics for a minute. The, the kinetic energy math formula is widely accepted. It's proven, blah, blah, blah. But I have friends all over the world. And I talked to a couple of physicists and scientists and engineers about this before I made this video. And the physicists all said, this stuff only applies in our world as we know it. 
that there are quantum physics being discovered and explored right now that will turn all these mathematic formulas on their head. The day will come when we can time travel. The day will come when we'll have anti-gravity technology and free energy technology and the, the ability to teleport items. You know, like beam me up, Scotty, that kind of stuff. And when we discover more of our universe, not just the physicality of this earth, but when we discover more of our universe, and gain the technology, we'll be able to space travel, time travel, gravity won't affect us the way it does now, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when we do those things, these mathematic formulas will be less meaningless and maybe entirely meaningless um, than they are now. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I mean, <clears throat> remember poor old Christopher Columbus, he was brought up on charges of heresy, which carried with the death penalty in the 1400s when he said the earth was round. Everybody knew the earth was flat. Come on, you can look out there and see. If you look far enough, you fall off the edge. Everybody could see that. <laughs> what are you talking about the earth is round? But he had friends in British royalty at the time, i.e. the queen, and to get him off her back, she gave him a big ship and said, here, go sail off the edge of the earth. And he proved that the earth was round. He and others, he wasn't the only one. You know, and they were burning witches in the 1400s too for saying things like, uh, I read the Bible. It, it wasn't compiled as a Bible yet, technically. I mean, there were no printing presses and stuff like that. So every copy you got was handwritten, you know, and if you said something like that or made issue with it, you got burned as a witch. And the fact that the fire actually consumed your body and killed you was proof that you were a witch. So those physicists of you, by the way, many of you chimed in on that video and I appreciate it. Those physicists among you and engineers among you don't get too hung up on current technology and current math, current beliefs, because we haven't explored our universe yet. And when we do, we will learn more. And I just throw that in as a tidbit because it was handed to me by several of the people that I interviewed about kinetic energy and the mathematic formula. Folks, um, one more thing, you had several comments about why do you put that on your box then oh, or your yeah. packaging if you don't believe in it? I know, I had blah, several blah, people, blah, blah, blah. yeah, I had several people on YouTube going, well, you put foot pounds uh, right on your box of ammo. You're a scam. Yeah, well, not a scam, but a hypocrite. Well, let me tell you folks, if I don't include it, it's become universal in the firearms industry for falsely determining determining the power power of a cartridge. And if I don't put it on my boxes, it's expected. And I will have millions of questions. People going, what's the foot pounds of this? What's the foot pounds of that load? What's the foot pounds of this load? Because so, as we've discussed, that's how people gauge. Yeah, well, it's how people gauge ammunition. power. And it's, mm -hmm. it's false. It's completely it's more than 90% false in determining the power or effectiveness of a cartridge on large game. But if you don't have it, people yeah, will not well, understand. So if I don't put it on there, thanks to my wife, she's tutoring me and leading me along so that people will understand what I'm talking about. If I don't put it on my boxes, I'll get buried with questions as to why is it not on your boxes and what are the foot pounds of this load. So I put it on there because it's expected. Uh, it doesn't mean a whole lot with large game, if anything. But, but anyway, folks, uh, we're enjoying our African Sunday, and this is my work for the day, and I'm past that now, and I hope this makes sense to a lot of folks, and we love and appreciate you all, most of you, um, <clears throat> except for the Trump haters. I, I get a lot of Trump haters. Uh, Please learn, please grow. Uh, we're all learning every day. If I quit learning something new every day, I don't see a lot of point in, in being alive. Um, that's just my take on learning and life. 
Um, God bless you. Have a great day. And for the Trump haters, what is a woman? Oh, yeah. At least Trump knows what a woman is. <laughs> and, and who are you going to vote for? Kamala? Really? Who doesn't know what a woman is. <laughs> yeah. She, she said so. Well, a woman is subjective and relative. Okay. Anyway, en enough, <laughs> enough politics. Um, God bless. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.